Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. The police say they are now working with overseas partners to name the alleged mastermind behind the abduction of two men from their Kirkland Heights and Andrew premises two weeks ago. 27-year-old businessman Curtis Martin and 25-year-old university graduate Mario Daly were abducted from their home at gunpoint on the evening of October 21. Jamaica Labour Party Deputy General Secretary Dr. Andrew Wheatley has issued a statement decrying the release to the media of the party's strategic report on the 2011 election loss. According to Dr. Wheatley, whoever released the report does not have the JLP at heart. The Sunday Gleaner published the 11-month-old report yesterday, highlighting 25 reasons the JLP lost the election. Police Commissioner Owen Ellington has ordered an immediate probe into the circumstances which led to a mentally ill man being beaten to near vegetative state at the Falmouth Police lockup last month. 31-year-old Kamosa Clark is now battling for life after receiving repeated blunt force trauma to the head. In sports, Jamaican Spring King Usain Bolt is among the three finalists for the IAAF Male Athlete of the Year award. Bolt, who is chasing the record fifth award, will be challenged by 10,000-meter world champion Mo Farah and world high jump champion Bodan Bonarenko. In your weather forecast, on Tuesday morning, there will be isolated showers over northern parishes and St. Thomas. In the afternoon, there will be scattered showers and thunderstorms. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.